So I wanted to hop on and talk you through this key graphic that's in the Quillette piece and that's also in my book. This phenomenon, we call it redlining. In the 1930s, during the New Deal, the government created these maps showing who was or wasn't eligible for federal housing assistance. In every city, there were desirable areas shaded green or blue, and then there were declining or hazardous areas in yellow and red, areas with significant populations of minorities and immigrants. And the government discriminated against those people based on where they lived, and so did private banks. So we started looking at the modern-day attendance zones of many elite public schools. Take a school like Ivanhoe Elementary in the Silver Lake neighborhood of Los Angeles, which isn't that far from where we live. An attendance zone is a map that shows who can or can't get into a coveted public school, and you can see that the shape of the zone often kind of mirrors the desirable area from the 30s, and it still excludes areas with lots of immigrants and minorities. These are schools with demographics that don't necessarily match the broader communities in which they're based. So this is true of elite public schools in New York City, Dallas, Indianapolis, even other schools in L.A. It's really all over. I think of it as educational redlining. If you want to learn more about these issues, definitely check out the Quillette piece. And, of course, there's much more in my book, A Fine Line, How Most American Kids Are Kept Out of the Best Public Schools.